Hello and welcome to Codition. Today we are going to see how we can use Python to scrap data from website and take snapshot using Selenium. So there are a lot of things that we can do with Selenium. So let us go to my script and see how it is going to work before I show you that how it will be installed or used. So here I have a, a script script uh, Python script and then we have input data over here which we want to search and we want to get output so let us run this one so this is the first result and we are going to take snapshot as well and also the data so other ones 964 results so Google search here I didn't see anything so let us see what automation will do how to read Instagram so here you will also see the status now opening this one let us wait for done or some error okay so it's done one two three four snapshots and if you go to input the input we already see, we have already seen if we see output uh, then see there was no data in one of the search so no data and rest of the things are showing results so let us go to snaps and then we can see what did we search and snaps are here to prove if you see this one Sorry, the third one there was no results so same here great so let us see how we can set up this on our PC or Mac so let us go to the, the presentation so these are the automation requirements of what we need to install so for we need a website obviously we need a website for scrapping then we need python and then we need visual studio so one thing you have to keep in mind when uh, you are using this automation you have to uh, install the chrome driver and when you are opening the script we have to use open folder option because this is a complete package so here uh, you have to find your chrome browser version and then go to this side and find the driver exactly of the same version <coughs> okay but you don't need to save in temp you have to save in your driver folder Now you have to install pip uh, using pip install selenium or any drivers which it prompts for or wherever the library is throwing an error you have to install that library. When you go to visual studio code you have to use open folder and then go to browse then open the folder that where your script is uh, installed but when you install when you download it it will come uh, by default name of browser snapshot and then you can open the script. After that you can run the script and it should be installed. Alright, so this is the complete package. Here is a driver folder where I place a driver. Here are the snaps and everything. You can change input to your choice. Now let me quickly go through the script. I have written most of the things that you might require to run this automation. So here is the site. From where you can need, uh, we need to install the driver because by the time you are using this automation this driver might be old or you might have a different version here we are uh, installing a snapshot it might work without this so for those who are new to this this is how we install and we hit enter and the track terminal that i've chosen now here we are getting the path the default path and that's how everything is mapped the basic path input file output file and there's a base url to check if the internet is working or not then this is the chrome path of my driver here this is the procedure to check the internet connection and then we are opening the input file 
reading line then we go and say there is no data if there is no data in this here the option uh, uh, here the chrome browser a uh, thing start and then we are opening the browser here browser is opening here yes and then this is my url uh, to search each item that are being inserted in the notepad and here if you see that we are using a uh, google search and then we have format url so this one will go here all in title and the search item in case you want to change it or if you have something else you can change it by making a simpler thing as well url equal to your site question mark abc equal to and the search item that will come from the notepad file now we are uh, removing the unwanted things if slash or anything is like that is there and then we are saving the snapshot here we are getting the browser data find element result status that that what we want and then we are waiting for a second and then we are done quit okay so this is a great automation and i have took a lot of days to develop it and make it simpler for a user like you i hope this will help you to automate your browser scrap data and also take snapshot of the browser as a proof that this is what we search for similar kind of videos you can subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye bye